guys welcome back to our channel today we're going to be showing you how to make this super easy graduation cake that you can make from home and well obviously from home <laughs> no, you can make it in the, uh, at sonic parking lot <laughs> oh my god so yeah guys so if you guys would like to learn how to make this cake that chava literally got down with look it's a buttercream cake um, then please keep on watching we made our own topper we made our own everything there so yeah hi guys welcome back to our channel like we Yo. said we're gonna be back with two videos a week, so here we are. What are we gonna be making today? Today, we're gonna be making a graduation cake. Yes. Made out of buttercream. So congrats to all of the class of 2020. Yay! I know it sucked for you guys, but just keep in mind the world is a crazy place right now. Speaking about that, um, stay safe everybody. I mean, everything that's going on right now, I've been watching the news, well, I mean, it's, it's just everywhere right now, you know? But my mom and dad, they've been watching the news, so I mean, I've been watching it too. And a lot of stuff is going on, just stay safe out there. I mean, it's pretty crazy, you know? Yeah, guys, so just for ourselves, like, you know, personally, let's all just try and be better than the person we were yesterday. And then hopefully things, it starts with us, so hopefully things get better, you know? As long yeah. as we're good people, then we could spread that. And I mean, the thing is, for our kids, you know, I mean, I, I think a lot about our kids. Cause I know, it's a sad world for them. and. Yeah, it's... I mean, in a good way, I'm happy that they're home with us right now, and I want them home as much as possible. But then they're gonna miss out on certain things, and it's just a whole topic that we can get into. But yeah, you. hopefully, you guys are safe. So um, hopefully, you know this can entertain you guys a little bit. I know it's hard to get your mind off of those things, but I mean, yeah, work still has to happen. So you guys know we're making this because he has to sell this cake. So might as well just entertain you guys too. Yes. So yeah, guys. So yeah, like I was saying. I'm gonna be making a buttercream cake. Um, it's gonna be a graduation cake for one of our good customers. And um, yeah, if you wanna keep watching this. All right guys, so we have two eight inch pans here. So what happened here is, so we baked two eight inches, right? And I covered this one before I covered this one, okay? And this one, when, when you cover it and it's still hot, like it smashes this, like it makes it flat. Oh, okay. See that? But, this one I covered it when it was already like cooled down, kind of, not all the way, but yeah, you know. And it stayed like like a bubble, you know? Not a bubble, like a panza. <laughs> just a, I mean, just a little tip. Because I know there's people that bake their cakes where they don't want to cut any off, right? So they yeah. want it to look like that? Mm hmm Oh, okay. You could either do that or um, you could put the, the thing on the side. You know how they sell that? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they do all that yeah. to do that. We don't care because we cut it. So. Yeah, we cut it. I mean, our cakes are still tall and I don't mind, you know? Because I put, I mean, the batches that I have to put. So just so we could. I like my cakes tall that way. All right? Okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah. This is two 8-inch cakes. Um, flavored vanilla. Yes. Vanilla. And then we're going to put some strawberry filling, which I already have it ready right here in my piping bag. Yes. And we're going to make it buttercream, which is buttercream. <laughs> you already know what buttercream we use. If you don't, um, it's the Sam's Club buttercream. And, yeah, guys. So, let's get started. All right. Cool. So, we're going to... Trim our cake. Oh my god, that one's perfect. Who baked that? Me! <laughs> <laughs> that one was perfect, literally. They're both perfect, what the heck? Oh, this one's the man. Oh, <laughs> not that perfect? <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, guys, so same thing as always. He's gonna go ahead and cut the top off the cake. Alright, so I don't really have to cut anything off of this one. Like I told you guys, I mean, cool. So this one, we're gonna cut off it. You don't have to cut a lot. You cut off however much you want, but it's always good to make it as flat as possible. If you want it tall, don't cut off too much. But if you want it short, cut off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. All right, so I got my cake. Just, I mean, because I'm not comfortable, I want to cut some of this off. Because I'm just looking at them and I'm just like, um, they're not the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, have, I don't know why I have like this, um, this, what do you call it? OCD. All right, so I have OCD, guys. Yes, you. Bruh. <laughs> wow. Stop flirting with me, yo. <laughs> what the f All right. So, All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some buttercream on our board. On our board. <laughs> so we're gonna put some buttercream on our board so it won't move anywhere. So I always like to put the bigger cake, which is the fatter cake, at the bottom. I don't know why. You know, ever since I was little. <laughs> <laughs> Always secure your edges, guys. Always secure them. If you haven't watched our last video, he secured his edges for 30 minutes, so please go watch. 
No, I'm serious though. This is this is um crucial. Critical, you know. Okay. <laughs> you have to secure your edges because if you don't secure them, all your filling will come out. Obviously not this one because it's kind of thick, but if you have like a runny a runny one like a dulce de leche, it will come out. And that's not even cool, like seriously. And if you look at look, at, you, see, you see this one? See how like it's kind of like too airy? Mm -hmm. Too foamy? Yeah, too foamy. So it's more refined has been lacking lately, and they don't have the purple whip, which is the premium, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's called, premium. So which that's the purple um, the purple box. So I've been having to buy the the pink one. And the pink one sucks. I mean, look at it. I mean, it just has too much air, you know? But I mean, it does, it, it's, it's really good still, but I'm just, I don't like buying that one because it's, it's not, it doesn't have the same, um, what do you call it, consistency. You guys, I was thinking of, one, of like trying to do a video where we try a different whip to compare to the pastry pie one. Would you guys like to see something like that? Because I know a lot of people in other states can't find pastry pie. Yeah, you're right. So that way we can be like, okay, this one is comparable to it. So if you guys would like to watch something like that, please go ahead and leave that comment down below. Because yeah. I know not everyone has access to pastry pride. Yeah, that's that's totally true, you know? I didn't even think of that. Well, I mean, a lot of people did tell me that they don't, um, they're so smart and final over there in Arkansas or whatever, you know? Or in New York. Someone in Arkansas, yes, there is! <laughs> there's a smart and final right there. <laughs> yeah, there is, like, you're right next to it. <laughs> Alright, so this is it looks cool. one tall cake. So always level it, always try to have it the straightest possible, and always have it leveled. If you look at it straight, it's really level, then try to center it. Always have it like to the center, you know? Okay. Always secure your edges, guys. Always secure it. So, and it turns out that I forgot my spatula. So you guys don't know, Chava doesn't live here anymore, so he has to bring everything from his house to my house, and he forgot his spatula, so he's gonna show you guys today how to um, alternate, is it alternate? Mm -hmm. How to work with um, what you got? How to work with what you got. There you go. So that's that. Boom. Cool. Yes. Oh, I forgot the other spatula too. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to go back. <laughs> I really have to go back, but look, check it out. We're gonna put it in the freezer and we're gonna let it sit for a good 20 minutes and we're gonna let it get stiff. And, and he's gonna, gonna go get his spatula. Yes. And it's 3 in the morning, guys, so wish me luck. <laughs> Alright, so meanwhile that cools down, we're gonna do this. So this is gonna be our topper, okay? So since we don't have a, a cr cricket, what is it, cricket? cut? Yeah, we're gonna make it our ourselves. <laughs> so I'm the cricket. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use a board since it's gonna be thick. And we printed this out on regular paper, the silhouette of, uh, of, of a girl. Um, graduating? Graduating. So all we have to do here is put glue in the back of it and then stick it to, to the thing and then cut it out, okay? And then after that, we could put the stick in it. I found this glue here that Leticia gave me. It's crazy glue. So we're gonna try this out and see how this works. So he's putting glue all over the silhouette. So I'm putting glue all over the silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> and so we did it already, okay? So we're gonna paste it. And hopefully it doesn't go through. We're just gonna tap, 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 tap a root. <laughs> All right, so now that it's pasted, it dried up. I, I'm, I'm hoping it dried. It hasn't even been like a minute, but I think it's dried to be honest. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna cut it out, okay? We have our X-Acto knife. I put a brand new blade in there, and So it's sharp, and just No take, way. <laughs> so just take your time, you guys. Yeah, so make sure you, you get a, a pretty um, sharp one, so that it could come out clean, okay? So we're gonna start by cutting it. Alright guys, so this took longer than expected, but... <laughs> the cake is probably all frozen, yo! Did <laughs> you see? That looks cute! That's the topper. It's perfect! So we're gonna put uh, just two sticks in the back. So we're gonna put some more crazy glue. Since we want it right here. Okay. We're gonna put it right there. So what we're gonna do is just drop some right there in the middle. So we're back, guys. You guys, it's 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, Four and look at this, it's 4.20. Alright, so we have our buttercream, right? So we're gonna dye it because uh, the cake is supposed to be yellowish. Not yellowish, but yellowish. You know what I'm saying? Like, not yellow, but yellowish. What does that mean? Ivory? 
pastel yellow? Yeah, like a pastel yellow. So just like that. Damn, that's a little bit. All right, we'll see what that I does. I think he'll need more rice, but a little goes a long way too. Yeah, heck yeah. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Pastel yellow, guys. Yes. Look at there you go. You can see it now. It's a custard cream yellow. Maybe a little bit lighter, huh? Why do you always have to contradict me, bro? Just stick pastel yellow in there. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're gonna put our buttercream in our piping bag. Ooh, that looks nice. You can kind of tell the yellow because my, my shirt on. Yeah, it matches your teeth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so now we're gonna cover our table with buttercream. Abel! Guys, you guys have seen him do this a million times, but the more the merrier. So look. Yeah, that's the first coat. So we're gonna give it two coats, like always. Typical, two po two coats. <laughs> I have something to tell you guys, but I don't know if you guys know this, but after you do this, you put it in the fridge. That's all? <laughs> all right guys, so on the side of the cake, he's gonna need like a silhouette of like gra the graduating class. So basically, this is how he's gonna do it. All right, so I have my X-Acto knife. And as you guys know, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the previous videos, but I did this in a couple videos already. But I'm gonna do it again just to refresh your mind, your memory, and so you guys can know a trick to making your own stencil type of way. Yeah, type pretty of much. Thing. Yeah. So this is pretty much making your own stencil, and uh, I mean, if you have a Cricut, even better. It's faster, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut it out, like I said, and down to the last detail, and then after that, we're gonna put it on fondant with um, Crisco, the shortening, mm -hmm. vegetable shortening, and then we're gonna cut it out on fondant. So we have our. Cool little thing, you know. Alright, so we'll be back once he cuts it out. Alright guys, so he's gonna go ahead and do the second coat. Alright, so I'm giving it the second coat, guys. And as you can see, I'm doing it lightly. I'm not giving it a thick coat. It's just a super light coat. And make sure that your cake is, um, make sure your cake is, uh, what do you call it, stiff? Because like the colder, the better. The smoother it's gonna be. You want it to be cold. Like super cold. Not super duper cold, like frozen, but you do want it to be like really cold to the point where it's like stiff, you know? And you don't have to like press it too hard because if you press it too hard, um, a lot of air bubbles like to come out, you know? I don't know why it does that, but is it smoother? Yes. I can't even see it from over here. Because of the light or what? Yeah, like all the lights on that side, you know? So is that smooth enough? Yeah. You think so or no? It's sharp. But is it smooth? Yes. But we need it to be smooth smooth, you know? Since this is a buttercream cake, you always want to have the smoothest cake. So just give it one last little touch. And I think that's dang. Yeah, that's super smooth. Alright, so there it is. So now we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out um, our fondant, which, which we need with our silhouette. And we're gonna stick it on there and just put it all together. All right, you guys. So basically, how he's gonna make the silhouette is with the fondant. So here we have our piece of fondant already colored, and you know we, we dyed it black already. So all you guys we're know doing we make our own. So there you go. That's our fondant. You can use any fondant that's black. Yeah, get whatever you want. But so we put a little bit of cornstarch on the table. <laughs> all right. So we threw some cornstarch on the table. I heat my fondant up because it was stiff. Um, that's how I do it. If your fondant is not stiff and you could use it just like that, go ahead. So I needed it a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is 
Um, get my rolling pin that I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh you my god. Have a pin uh, no, we already went like oh. back and forth to his house like 10 times, you guys. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, what we're gonna do now, and you guys already know this, if you guys don't, here it goes. You ain't a real one. So, we're just gonna put Crisco on this. And you may ask why that instead of water? Because we don't actually want that to stick, the paper to stick on this. We just want it to like kind of be a guide. Yeah, well, to make since, our own. Since we're gonna do a stencil, guys. Um, we, we just want it to be, um, like, we just want it to stick. Temporarily. Temporarily, there you go. That's the word. So that way we could just peel it off and, it'll, like, it'll just be his guide to, like, cut over it. You know what I mean? There you go. So now we're going to put our paper, which this is our paper. Bang, bang, bang. Mm hmm So now what we're going to do is put it just like that. There you go. Cool. Alright guys, so he's going to cut over this and then we'll come back once he's done cutting. Alright guys, so 10 minutes later and he's done. Look at how cute this is. I think it was 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, as you can tell it still has the paper on top. But don't worry, we're going to peel it off. Alright guys, so now I'm going to put it on. I'm going to throw on the silhouettes. And after that we're going to put the topper. And we're going to put a little trim. And we're set. Okay? Alright. All right, so as you guys can tell, this is a super easy cake that you can make like at home. You don't really need anything extra, so as long as you have a printer, you know? Yeah. So you can make your own topper and everything. So I hope you guys get ideas since, you know, I know everybody's graduation kind of got messed up. But, you know, still make it special, at least with a little cake or something. And if you don't want to make it on your own, just make sure you DM at Toronto's Cake to get your cake ordered. That's right. Let me know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm always busy, but I will get back to you and I will take your order, even if I have. He a takes thousand. all everyone's order, you guys. But like, I might have a thousand orders, but I'll still take another one. <laughs> all right, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> see that? Wow, look at that, you guys! And so now he's gonna peel off the paper on top, so you can see how cute it looks. Okay, and it's easy to peel off. Like, like he's just using his exacto knife to pull up the corner. Yes. Definitely. Oh my, like, it's coming off. The lighting sucks on this way, but see that? But there. So he peeled it off and look how good that looks, you guys. Such a cute idea. And then obviously we use yellow because that's like the school color, right? For yeah. the school. But you can use whatever color. Any color you guys want. For the school so and it can match the and the silhouette. Like, also you could make it a guy silhouette, you know? Yeah, like the topper could be a guy yeah. one. They have the profile view. And I'll leave the link down below of the exact like picture we used. Um that way you guys can just pop it open and print it. But yeah, yeah it's such a cute away. idea. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and add the topper. And excuse the air. But look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Bang, bang, bang. That's perfect. Well, with whatever you have left over, the, the buttercream, you can even add rosettes all around. All right, guys. So he's just going to add like a couple more touches just to make it like not so plain. Yeah, so I'm going to add some swirls with the tip 2D. So you see, I added the rest of the buttercream, so I won't, it won't go to waste. Okay. And we're just gonna add some tools, okay? And you guys, today is June 1st, so I hope that you guys have a good month. And um, sorry, you guys have to pay rent. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, we're all in that same boat, you know? Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, let's hope this month isn't. We're already halfway through the year. It's insane. This year was so fast, and it's been like the craziest year of my entire life and guess what this so. month is my birthday month not yeah. that it matters but <laughs> chava is gonna have uh well i don't think we'll be in quarantine anymore but he's, he's gonna be 28 years old so does that look cool nice it looks so much cuter should i add a trim on the bottom i wouldn't no mm -hmm. all right so that's, that's it right there mm -hmm. i'm just gonna add her name and that, that's it so we're done there you go guys Alright guys, so this is the finishing look. As you can see, the topper looks amazing. The cake looks super simple but like fancy and cute. So if you guys um, enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and share our channel. Yes. Um, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Like I said, I want to kind of review different things. So let me know. And I really want to do a giveaway. 
Yeah, well, they have to subscribe so we can do a big giveaway. Once we hit 50,000, we'll do a giveaway, okay? Yeah, heck yeah. So you guys subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know Chava in cheap. So here you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, yeah we'll be back with another video, hopefully, this in a couple days. So yeah, there you go. And stay safe, guys. Enjoy. We'll see you in the next one.